Hello and welcome to WPLMS updates. In the latest 1.7.2 update, we have added support for code styling localization plugin. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use code styling localization plugin to translate our existing WPLMS site. So first we go to the WordPress dashboard go to add new in plugins and here we search for code styling localization and we can click install now so as you can see it is already install, installed in in this setup so once you have installed and activated this plugin so I'll just activate it So once you have activated the plugin, you will see a localization option in the tools section and upon clicking this, you will see a screen like this. So the WordPress will detect all the language files in the installation and they will be shown here. So if you want to filter out, you can select themes. And as you can see, we have WPLMS theme activated and we have following language files which are already working for WPLMS. So the green, green link shows that, so the green color of the file means that the installation, the translation file is present. So you can add a new language using this add a new language button and to edit any existing language you can simply click on edit so as you can see it is asking us to rescan the source file so we go back so once the scan is complete we can now edit the file translation file and it will show us the text which we can translate so this can be used effectively to rename the labels as well so apart from theme you can also locate the the plugin files so when we go to plugins section we can see all the plugins in the theme so as you can see we have wipe course module wipe custom types wipe short codes similarly we have assignments events front end so all the plugins are appearing here using which you can edit the translation files so just a quick example so let's say we want to translate the take this course button here so we go to the back end and we locate the wipe course module and we locate the english so we first need to rescan this So once the scanning is finished, we can edit the file and locate for for the take this course. So to translate this, we simply need to edit this and we can say take this module or listen and then we can save it. Once, so once saved, you can see the translation file here. So after you have made the changes, you simply need to click on generate the MO file for it. So once the MO file is generated, now if we refresh our page, the take this course course should change to take this lesson. So when we have 
so so after the reload we can see that the translation has successfully applied to this button so using the code styling plugin you can now use translate the text in in the wordpress setup easily so that's it from wplms tips thanks for watching